What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Urban Minds, Inc., representing that positivity and that motivation. Hey, listen, man, welcome to another episode of Church, man, where people of all walks of life can come get some game, some wisdom, and some inspiration. Today, I want to talk to you about the things that they don't tell you about home ownership. Buying a home, you're used to renting, and you're not going to be used to certain things, dealing with certain uh, upkeep cost if you don't already have a network of people around you that have already told you this okay so right now I'm in my garage man and I want to talk to you about plumbing okay so right here you can see this section right here looks a lot different than this and this is was because I was at work one day and my wife was like there's a leak coming from the garage it looks like the drywall is gonna fall in so what I did was I came home I took my my little handsaw and I cut out everywhere that it was leaking so I could see what it was. And it happened to be one of the plumbing joints up there needed to be resealed. So due to the warranty on the house, the plumbing was covered, but the drywall was not. Plumber came out, resealed it. There still was a big hole in the ceiling. And to have it refinished just like this was 250 bucks. If I would have had somebody come out, cut the drywall, vice versa, I could have been looking at anywhere from 500 bucks. Okay, next expense. When you are renting an apartment, condo, something like that, you don't have to deal with these expenses. What I'm looking at right here is a hot water heater. This is an electric one. And when these things go out, you better make sure your savings are correct because if you have to one thing we're accustomed to and living with is hot water you know nobody's going to take a cold shower for any amount of time um for any length of a long length of time without trying to work towards getting a new one or saving but this bad boy goes out just the tank alone can be anywhere from 500 you know to 1500 bucks then you're looking at installation so you easily could be out of about 2400 bucks two thousand dollars just from your hot water heater going out okay next i'm going to show you around the side of the house man another plumbing issue i've had happen in one of my houses that i bought pretty much was <clears throat> okay so if you live in cold regions where you have this right here in the winter time they'll tell you to turn the valve and let it slowly drip out when the weather is going to be freezing if not the water will freeze in the pipes and it'll bust uh, somewhere along the piping. And I've had that happen with this and had to have this section cut out and replaced. And pretty much the, the valves in there go bad once it cracks or the piping cracks. And that right there was an expensive fix. That right there was like 300 bucks on one of my houses. All right, next. Okay. This next one is a major one that most people don't do. When you're in apartment complexes, you don't have to worry about this because there's somebody coming around taking care of it a maintenance man but when you own a house you are your own maintenance person it is your job to make sure everything is in tip-top condition so what we're looking at right here is the ac unit okay now i'm gonna show you inside of the house what is vital to keep this thing running at optimal condition okay there we go so outside of getting that service maybe every other year you're looking at probably like 150 to 200 bucks to get your ac serviced every other year as long as you don't have any issues with it you don't need to do that yearly okay all right moving on all right so going inside the house got the dogs right here and they're chilling bruno got bella next thing i want to show you with the ac unit is these filters right here so this right here is part of the uh, oxygen or breathing system of the AC. This is the intake, which pretty much sucks in air and it filters the air that's getting pushed through the system and pushes it back out through your vents. If you let this thing clog up, you will end up choking out the system and having to replace your AC. When you're looking at houses, you're thinking about buying a house, pull out the old filter and see how dirty it is. If it's been uh, if it's super dirty, you might want to negotiate on the price of the house because eventually there's you know that there's wear and tear on that AC because they didn't change these things out every 30 days. Now this house has four filters 
and for me to replace all the filters monthly that comes out to about 45 dollars okay and they get dirty pretty quick every 30 days is a good rule of thumb to replace these okay next i'm gonna show you in the garage issues that when you buy a house you don't have any idea happen but you have to be prepared for them so in my kitchen at one point i don't know what it is with the circuitry behind the wall but ultimately i had a problem with my microwave and deep freezer tripping the circuit breakers okay um pretty much you go to microwave something at least two three times a day the microwave wouldn't work okay or my deep freezer right here wasn't uh turned on and i opened up and why is the stuff thawed out and i got you know anywhere from five six hundred dollars worth of meat in there you don't want these problems nobody tells you about these expenses so let me show you where the source of the problem was so right let's move this skinny popcorn out the way right back here i have the circuit breaker for the house and if it wasn't for me contacting the manufacturer this would have been a lot more expensive. Now, these homes, when they built them, they put in faulty breakers that were tripping under not the right electrical load. And, you know, if I would have called a regular electrician out, I probably could have spent about $300 getting these breakers uh, switched out and replaced. But due to um, the home builder knowing this, they came out and replaced them for 50 bucks, okay? So I just wanted to highlight some of the things that people don't talk about, you know, enough before or after when they buy a home and some of the upkeep and maintenance costs. When you're used to living in an apartment, a condo, you have a maintenance man, somebody to come around and do the maintenance on the house, the upkeep and things like that. But when you buy a house, you're jumping off into a whole new territory and you need to have a good network of people around you to help. Um, maintain the house if you're not a handy type person a d uh a do-it-yourself type person so that's just my advice man because you don't know how many people out there men and women that are buying houses and are shocked with the cost that it actually costs to upkeep a house and things like that even with rental properties you still have to pay somebody to go out there and uh make sure the rental property is being kept up to standards because rental people will kill your uh your AC by not, you know, replacing the, the vents and things like that. But that's just it, man. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Holler back at your boy because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight.